I watch him interact with these, these car dealers, and he's not interested in buying the car. He's interested in making them let go of their, of their attachment to selling the car. Then one time, some people, I don't know who it was, but they donated, uh, they said, sure, you just need a car. You don't have a decent car to, to travel all these places you have to go, so here's money for a car. So the master said, okay. He sent me and former Hung Guan all over San Francisco and says, pick up all the brochures and all the dealers in San Francisco. So we went everywhere and picked up brochures and brought it back. And then Shifu took all these brochures and spread them all out on the floor up in his room. So it was like the whole carpet, it was like a carpet of brochures. And he's going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he says, oh, call this one. Tell him to bring the car over. We take a look. <laughs> so we didn't go to the dealer. They came here and we, <laughs> we call them. Oh, just come on in, we'll show you. So no, you bring the car here if you want to sell it. We're cash buyers. Oh, okay. So they drive the car over. We get in the car, then the shifu would hold, stay back. He says, okay, you two get in the car. Hung Guan, you get in the front. Guo Wei, you get in the back. And then um, I'll come in. And when I come in the car, just tell him this, this old Chinese guy wants to take a ride. He said, okay. <laughs> he said, we get in the car. Here's this, oh, we're ready to go. I said, oh, wait a minute, there's this old gentleman like to come with us. Oh, oh, okay. You know, bro, he doesn't know what's going on. So sure if we take off his robes and you just have his, his uh, work clothes on his, and his, his watses, and he'd jump in the back seat and we'd drive around and, and you know, salesmen, they're always, always be selling, always be closing. You know, they're always doing that. So they're talking about all the great, wonderful things about the car and how they're gonna give us a really good deal. So we're driving all over the place, and Shifu wouldn't say a word. <laughs> and so he'd just be in the quiet and sitting in the back. And we just, so we drive around, we get up, you know, maybe 10 minute r drive, and then come back to Gold Mountain. Just as we're pulling back into the front of Gold Mountain, he would say, hmm, how much? That was the whole thing. And they go, excuse me? <laughs> yeah, and then Hong Kong would say, oh yeah, he wants to know how much. Oh, well, uh, I can give you a, a special deal. And uh, back then, I think the cars, this is in the 70s, so cars were about 12 grand, I think, back then. And he says, Oh, I can give you this for about 12,000. Uh, we have, it's usually for 15, but ah, uh, blah, blah, blah. And she goes, mm, I think he's 6,000, good price. <laughs> <laughs> but I give you cash. <laughs> but even that, I learned that over time, that I watch him interact with these, these car dealers, and he's not interested in buying the car. He's interested in making them let go of their, of their attachment to selling the car. <laughs> so it was really wonderful to watch this interaction take place. We had one car dealer come there, and he's, he's almost to the point where Shifu was ready to sign and he gives the paper to Shifu, and he's just about, he picks up the pen, he goes, mm. <laughs> I still thinking too much. <laughs> the guy goes, finally he gets up, I can't take it, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> and he runs out the door, and Shifu ran after him, waving the paper, I sign, I sign. <laughs> so, but I can see that, yeah, he didn't care about the car at all. He wasn't even interested in it. He only wanted to see if he could get this person to let go of his attachments. So that was really wonderful to watch. <laughs>